Many people of reproductive age wear makeup. What exactly is in these products that you put on your skin, lips, and hair? Could chemicals from your makeup get absorbed into your body and cause infertility or miscarriage? Stay tuned and I will discuss. One group of chemicals that gives us some concern are called phthalates. Phthalates are contained in many different types of cosmetics, lotions, and other beauty products. They are easily absorbed through your skin and are converted in your body to many different active chemicals. Looking at phthalate levels in the body, scientists have found that women generally have higher levels than men. This is thought to be due to the use of cosmetics. Occupation is another factor that can lead to higher exposure. For example, hairdressers have levels that are anywhere from 2 to 10 times higher than an average woman. Watch this video to learn which occupations are linked to a higher risk for miscarriage. There have been several studies correlating phthalate levels measured in blood or urine with reproductive outcomes in women. In some of these studies, scientists were able to link higher phthalate exposure levels and infertility, longer time to pregnancy, earlier menopause, premature ovarian failure, and low antral follicle count. There have also been at least three studies which focused on hairdressers because they are a group that tends to have higher phthalate levels, as I stated earlier. These studies found that, as a group, hairdressers took longer to achieve pregnancy and had higher rates of premature ovarian failure compared to women with low phthalate levels. These studies are concerning. However, not all studies have found a link. Plus, when reviewing some of the studies that did find a link, researchers have found many problems with the methods used in those studies, leading them to conclude that the link is undetermined. Parabens are a group of chemicals typically used as preservatives in a variety of products, including makeup, shampoos, and conditioners. Studies in the laboratory have demonstrated that parabens can act as endocrine disruptors. In other words, they might interfere with normal hormone function. There has not been a lot of study on whether parabens might cause infertility. One study from Japan found that college students with higher paraben levels tended to have shorter menstrual cycles. Another study linked paraben with lower estrogen levels. Most importantly, I was able to find one study that found lower monthly fertility in women, but only when they compared women who had the very highest paraben levels in their urine compared to those who had the very lowest levels. Triclosan is a chemical that is used to slow the growth of bacteria. Just like the other chemicals we've talked about, it can be found in cosmetics, certain amounts can be absorbed into the body, and there is concern about it being an endocrine disruptor. However, one study which tried to determine whether triclosan reduces the reserve of viable eggs failed to find any impact. Another study failed to find a relationship between triclosan levels and the time it took to achieve pregnancy. So what is the bottom line here? There is a lot of suspicion that chemicals in your makeup and beauty products could be harmful to your fertility, but little to no good data that it does. Is there any harm to trying to reduce your exposure to these chemicals? No, there is no harm. You could stop wearing makeup, for example. This might help, but there are other sources to these chemicals as well. There are also companies that make products that do not have these chemicals. As long as those products are no more expensive, then you could try those as well. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.